Hi there, I'm Erin. Welcome to an episode of Kitchener Waterloo Oktoberfest Family Video Series. I'd like to thank our partners, including Pillars Fine Foods, TD Bank, RT04 Tourism Innovation, and the Government of Ontario. And thank you to the Schwaben Club for allowing us to film in their space. Today we're going to be taking you through a super fun Thanksgiving themed craft, a little turkey table decoration for your Thanksgiving dinner. So he just sits on your table and he adds some decor to your space. So it's a very simple paper craft and if you need to download the instructions in the supply list, you can find that at oktoberfest.ca. So I'm gonna quickly run you through what you're going to need and the steps to assemble our turkey. So for this craft, you're going to need some construction paper in fall colors. We chose orange, brown, and yellow. You'll need a little bit of red construction paper, some white paper, and a lighter brown if you've chosen the brown as your fall color. You're also going to want to grab some assorted colors of feathers. Again, we chose some fall colors here. Two little googly eyes. And if you don't have the googly eyes or the feathers, don't worry because you can use markers or pencil crayons or crayons. And you can also find some things to decorate your turkey with like bingo dabbers or stickers or again, more feathers or other kind of crafts. You'll also want a pair of scissors on hand, some glue, tape, a ruler, a pen or pencil, and a glue gun. And if you're using a glue gun, don't forget to ask an adult for help. So let's get started. The first step that you're going to do is cut out all of your pieces. And that way we have your pieces for your turkey ready to go. So using your lighter brown paper, you're going to cut out the turkey's body. So a little circle, I think ours is about two inches, but you could use the lid of a jar or another circular object as to trace. And then you're going to cut out a little piece that looks like a drumstick, like a turkey leg. You want just a little strip of white paper, which is going to be the stand for your turkey on his base there. A little itty bitty triangle out of the orange paper for his beak and then taking the red paper, his little gobbler piece that goes under. I think it's called a waggle. Then you want to take your autumn colored papers or fall colored papers and cut out two rectangular strips from each one. So two of the dark brown strips here. And you're going to go down in size. You want them a little smaller than the last. So whichever colors you want the order in, they're going to be different sizes. So three different sizes here. Now that you've got everything cut out, we can start to assemble your turkey. So taking your turkey body pieces, I drew a little dotted line on the bottom of the circle on the back side, because that's important. We're going to fold the circle later. So start by doing that and then take your little drumstick looking piece, which is going to be his neck and his head, and you're going to glue it to the back. So it looks like that. Then you can take your googly eyes and start to do your turkey's face. So place those. There we go. And then your two little pieces for his beak and his waddle. I do the waddle first, because you want the beak to sit on top of it so you can see it. There we go. So there's your little turkey face. On the back of his head, if you have the feathers and you want to add some feathers for decoration, using my glue gun very carefully, I'm just going to glue this to the back of his head. So there, it looks like he's got a little bit of feathers coming out the back. So we can then take him and set him aside to dry. Next, you're going to take those strips that you cut 
and we're gonna do something super fun. This is one of my favorite things to do in a craft. You are going to fold them into a fan. And that's what makes our turkeys, the back of him is feathers. So if you've never done this before, you fold it like an accordion. So you're going to go over once and flip it over and over again. So you're gonna fold back and forth. So I'll show you the motion. So back and forth, back and forth. And you're gonna fold up all three of those strips, or sorry, all six of those strips. You're going to have six individual strips so that we have your three colors all together in their accordion fan shape. Taking each set of strips, you want to take a flat end and take your tape and just tape them together. One piece is good. So that way you have an extra long accordion folded piece of paper. Now, this is the most tricky part, but I know that you'll be able to do it. You're going to take your fan and you're going to bring the ends down so that it forms that wide open brimmed fan like the back of our turkey. And what you can do is take your piece of tape or if you need a bit of the glue and you're just going to put them together on the bottom. So I just put the piece of tape there on the bottom. So we will do that two more times for each of our colors. Now sometimes if it does this, we can tape it together in the folds. We can tape a couple of the folds together to help it sit a bit better. I'm gonna put those aside and I'm going to take our turkey body back now that his feathers are on here and dried. And remember that dotted line we looked at? We're going to now fold that. So we are going to fold it back so that he looks like this. You're going to take your white strip of paper and you are going to glue it to that folded piece of the brown paper. So right like here. That creates a little stand for him to sit on. So taking your fans, going from the shortest near the turkey to the largest at the back, we're going to glue them on. So I'm gonna let him sit. Just a quick little bit of glue for each one. And I might just take the back of my turkey head and I might put a little bit of glue and I might just glue him to that first fan, just so he stands up. There we go, we'll let him dry. And one more. And there we go, so that's the basic turkey. Now, if you want, you can take your markers, or I said stickers, or bingo dabbers, or even extra feathers, and you can feel free to decorate him however you want. So I might add a couple more feathers on the back here. Just like a turkey would have lots of big feathers. We'll add a few more. There we go. So that's your time to be creative and you can make your turkey however you would like. You can decorate it in the end and then at your Thanksgiving dinner, you can just pop it on your table. You could have a couple little table decorations. So thanks for watching. Again, if you need to download the instructions in the supply list, you can visit oktoberfest.ca. And I'd like to thank our partners, Pillars Fine Foods, TD Bank, RT04 Tourism Innovation, and the Government of Ontario. And thanks again to the Schwaben Club for allowing us to film in their space. Thanks for watching. Thank you.